guys, it's Jamie from Modern Day Fox. Today I'm going to make the ever popular copycat Starbucks egg whites. You can find these on a host of blogs. The one that I was most inspired by, the recipe I was most inspired by was uh, on the foodieandwine.com blog, a great blog. And I've tweaked the recipe just a little bit to fit my dietary desires. I cut down on the fat just a little bit. Um, but these are just light and fluffy. They stay in the fridge for, you know, three to four days. They taste just as good as the day that you made them. So I hope you'll give it a shot. The first thing that I did was make some bacon. Mine are going to have cheese and bacon in them. So I used my air fryer, my Power XL air fryer to make bacon. And I cooked these uh, bacon strips at 400 for 10 minutes. So you just want to chop the bacon up into small crumbles and we are going to put these at the bottom of our dish. Once you have your bacon crumbles ready to go, you want to take ramekins like these or small mason jars and make sure that they're well greased. I just used a little bit of olive oil spray on mine, but you can use butter, coconut oil, whatever you want. I know some people don't like the sprays, but to me it's easy. And you want to get these sprayed really well so that your eggs just slide out when they're done. Next, you just want to lay some crumbles at the bottom of your each of your ramekins or your jar. And I'm using two different kinds just to show you that it doesn't matter what you use. And actually, because I only have four ramekins. We have our jars ready, so we'll move on to making the egg mixture. The recipe that I was inspired by only calls for four, but I like to up these to six because I like to make six at a time. So we're going to crack six eggs right into our blender, and I use the Vitamix blender. I got this blender off of Amazon, and I just bought a refurb to save money, and it works great. The original recipe calls for a cup and a half of cheese. I uh, made that into a cup of cheese just to lower the fat just a little bit. And I use the Italian style cheese. It's a combo of mozzarella, provolone, parmesan, romano, fontino. You can find this um, in the cheese section. So just portion out a cup. Pour that right into your blender. Take some cottage cheese. Again, I use a low fat cottage cheese just to save on fat. You're gonna need a half cup of this. right into your blender. The recipe I'm inspired by on foodie and wine calls for heavy cream, but just to save on fat calories, I use half and half. But you can use heavy cream. I've also um, seen on the Instant Pot community that you can use whole milk as well. We're gonna do a fourth a cup of half and half. And then lastly, just a dash of salt. I'm probably gonna do two dashes, I like salt. So we're just going to do um, a quick blend. Okay, that was roughly 15 seconds. You don't want to over blend. And now our egg mixture is done and we're going to go ahead and pour these into our pots. So we're just going to evenly distribute the eggs into each cup. Whoa, maybe a little, little more evenly than that. This one got a little full, so I'm just going to even it out just a little bit, and I'll wipe that off. The next thing we're going to do is take some foil and just lightly cover each with foil. Um, the egg rises as it cooks in the pot, and you don't want it to spill all over your pot, so this just helps keep, keep everything in place. And now we're ready to move on to putting the jars into our pot. One cup of water. That helps bring your pot to temperature. Then you're gonna take your trivet that came with the pot, set it inside your pot, and then you're just gonna stack. 
I'll show you what it looks like on the inside. And I have to do three at a time in mine. All right, I have three in there now. I could probably squeeze four in there, but since I have two Instant Pots, I'm just gonna do three each. Um, but that's probably why the recipe I was inspired by only had for four, because that's probably all you can really comfortably fit. So you just have to take a look at what size pot you have. I have a six quart, so if you have an eight quart, you might be able to squeeze all of them in there, and it's fine that they're stacked. So I'm gonna go ahead and load my other pot, and then we'll be ready to put these in the Instant Pot to cook. Time to put them in our Instant Pot. There's my first one. Here is my second one. Make sure that foil is on there. Place our lid on our pot. Turn the valve to sealing. And then we're gonna set the pot to manual for 12 minutes and we're gonna allow a natural pressure release. Look at them, aren't they cute? My twins. See you guys in about, I would say um, 20 minutes or so. It'll take about five minutes to come to pressure and 12 minutes to cook and then probably about eight minutes to uh, release. So maybe about 25 minutes. Okay, the pressure has released for about nine, eight, nine minutes. Um, so I'm just gonna finish it out. I'll just take a second for the rest of the pressure to come. It will be hot, so you wanna take a mitt and pull them out with the mitt. Got them all out and just want to take oops, take the foil off and let them cool. And you can see how easily they'll just slide right out onto your plate. You can garnish with some cilantro or additional cheese or sour cream. I actually have a taste tester here. My dad is visiting me. Oh, he's worried about his hair. Dad, can you can you take a bite and see what you think? It's hot. You might want to blow on it. It's good. Delicious. All right. And here's the finished product. These were the ones that were in the ramekin. The ones that were in the mason jars, you can tell just a little bit slightly different shape. A lot of people also use the baby food silicone molds that you can get off Amazon. I'll link to those. Um, these are delicious copycat Starbucks egg bites and perfect to prep at the beginning of the week and they will last all week. I don't recommend freezing and reheating. They just don't have the same consistency, but they do keep in the refrigerator for the week. Thanks for watching and to check out more Instant Pot Fun, make sure you're follow following me at Modern Day Fox on Facebook and Instagram. Also ModernDayFox.com and my YouTube channel at Modern Day Fox. Thanks guys.